And when you think about birds, until you actually see one up close, either in a museum or a zoo or anything, it's really hard to know how big they are. And many, many times people will say, well, the, I saw a great horn owl and it was, you know, this big. And it ate, ate my neighbor's child. And, um, they only weigh two pounds and this is how big they are. So um, not obviously as big as an eagle owl, which can weigh up to five pounds. Um, this is Skilly. Skilly's been with me for over 20 years. He's a male great horn. Females will be a little bit bigger. He weighs about two pounds. He's hot, so that's how he cools off. It's kind of hot here. Um, birds don't sweat. They just pant to cool off. They're called, sorry, they're called great horn owls because of these feathers on the top of their head. And all three of our owls are molting right now, so they're kind of shabby. Shabby looking. They're dropping out their old feathers. Um, growing in a brand new set. He's demonstrating his flexible neck. These are our top, top predators. Able to capture and kill animals that weigh three times what they weigh. They're the number one predator of skunks in North America. And they can exert, with their talons, um, over 300 pounds of pressure per square inch. So they can capture some pretty um, big prey. You know, just imagine tackling somebody that weighs three times what you weigh. Um, Skilly, he gets his name from the uh, Cherokee Native American word for great horned owl. It was also their same word they used.